Mark Burke, and welcome to Rockstar Supernova. We've got the 15 best unsigned rockers on the planet, and the concert last night was off the hook. At the end of the show, the world voted, and tonight, we're gonna find out which of our rockers are in the bottom three, and who will be going home. The rockers who escape elimination tonight will all still be in the running for the biggest prize in music to become the lead singer for the most exciting new band to emerge in years, Supernova. 25,000 singers, an audition that spanned the globe. These are the best of the best, all competing for their big break. Please give it up for our 15 final rockers. It's amazing to think that by the end of the summer, one of you will become the lead singer of a brand new band, cut an album, and hit the road for a worldwide tour that will begin on New Year's Eve at the Joint at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Supernova. Gilby Clark, Tommy Lee, and Jason Newstead. Also joining us on this crazy ride is another rock superstar, Mr. Dave Navarro. Thanks, Brooke. You look gorgeous. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good to see y'all. Tommy, how are you feeling after last night's show? First of all, hello, everybody. How are you? Hello? How's everybody out there in TV land? Hello? We had so much fun last night for any of you that were here or that saw the show last night, there was amazing performances, man. And if you didn't see it, you suck, because you really missed some good stuff. Um, so check it out. I want you guys to know how important it is uh, that all you guys vote. It means a lot. You guys are actually helping us shape Supernova, and you're very important to us, and realize that you have a lot of power. So let's have a good time tonight, and let's start rocking. Thanks, Tommy. Tonight is our first elimination show, which means that for one of these 15 rockers, a dream is about to end. Last night, they performed for an audience of millions around the globe. Then the world voted for their favorites. Well, tonight, the three rockers with the fewest number of votes will perform, this time for Supernova. Then Supernova will send one of them home. But before we get to the results of last night's vote, it's been an amazing first week for our 15 rockers, both on and off the stage. This week on Rockstar Supernova, 15 of the best unsigned rock singers in the world arrived at the Rockstar Mansion in Los Angeles. Oh my God! That's our house! Look at all this beautiful. We're living here! And enjoyed their first taste of the Rockstar lifestyle. May the uh, best person for the job come out on top. But the party didn't last long. It was time for song selection. Oh my god. Oh, I love that song. Oh, I love that song too. Oh. I want She Talks to Angels. I like She Talks to Angels too. How are we going to do this? It was up to the rockers to decide who would sing which song. I think at this stage, we weren't really taking the song selection too seriously. Yeah! What's up? What's up now? When people start seeing people leaving, then people will start really thinking about the song selection more. Having chosen their songs, the rockers took to the stage for the first time. Music producer Butch Walker was on hand to help Supernova find their lead singer. What's up, Butch? And Tommy Lee got down to business. What's at stake here? It's freaking huge. One of those guys right there, or girls, is gonna front Supernova. Storm kicked off the night. That was badass, man. Toby made the ladies swoon. Good on you, mate. Thank you, Bill. And Alana rocked the house. That was insane. But Phil's performance made Supernova question his choice of song. You won't have to follow me. It's 
a kind of a crazy song choice for you, and I just want everybody, all, all you guys, to realize how important the song choice is for you guys. And Chris's vocals did not impress Supernova. It's cool to take a tune and rock it up, but unfortunately that one sucked. The last to perform, Lucas ended the night with a bang. Can you say rock star? Wow. Talk about an electrifying way to kick off the season. Dave, do you guys have any more thoughts about last night's show? Yeah, Brooke, we do. In fact, I'd like to address the guys over there. Let's start with Chris. Let me ask you this. Do you have any regrets about your rearrangement or your performance at Roxanne last night? No, not at all, man. I, um, you know, the reason why I did Roxanne is because I wanted to challenge. I didn't come here to this situation in this band not to take, uh, you know, not to take a step forward. I think I made a little bit of a bad choice as far as the song selection, but I don't regret picking that song whatsoever, you know? And if I get, if I get crucified for it, so be it, you know? Well, rock and roll is definitely about taking chances, dude. And you definitely did that. Let's hear from Phil. What's happening, man? Chilling. Right on. So listen, after you heard Supernova's reaction to your performance last night, are you going to be thinking differently about song selection now, taking it a little bit more seriously? Uh, most definitely going to be taking it more seriously. Um, you know, I, I think everybody was getting to know each other. It wasn't like a situation where we could be cut through it yet because we weren't like comfortable enough with each other at that point to duke it out and I think now you know not that I'm saying I'm going to punch anybody in the face except for Lucas <laughs> but it's definitely going to take it more seriously everybody's taking it more seriously yeah absolutely man a lot at stake here thanks a lot guys Brooke well, last night was definitely one to remember, and I am not just talking about the singing. Get a load of the rocking and rolling that went on once our rockers got back to the mansion. The rockers returned to the mansion to celebrate their first performance show. Some were flying high after their performances. I killed it! Yeah, man. I wasn't nervous at all. It was awesome. I got to live the dream for a minute. But Chris was still reeling from Supernova's criticism. For somebody to tell you after you've given 110% of everything that you are, that you sucked, is really, really disheartening. I got no apologies whatsoever for what happened tonight. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't one of the best singers in the world. And Lucas put the rest of the rockers on the spot. I want to yeah. ask you, my beautiful Southern Belle. Who do you think will be in bottom three? And I You're asking my personal my opinion of everybody's talent here. Mm -hmm. We're all hanging out and having a good time in the ballroom and Lucas sucked all of the air out of the room. There's no telling what America is gonna think about each and every one of us. Okay, you, you, lose, your, you lose your spot, Dana. Maddie, you, you go next. You ask the Question, why do you answer? I will. I did the best I could tonight, okay, sweetheart? <laughs> Fortunately enough, I was blessed with, like, my voice and my talent. Why don't you answer the question that you asked first? Ooh. Bottom three, baby. You want me to talk about everybody else? That's what you asked, bottom three. Do it. All right, I'll tell you the truth. Thank you want the you. truth? Now we're getting down to All right. it, baby. A lot of you sucked, okay? I love all these people here. Some people may get stepped on or trampled on. If that's the case, then you should not be here, man. Like, this is rock and roll. I'm not playing, man. Lucas. <laughs> you never did answer that question, dude. Who do you think will be in the bottom three? Well, just to let everybody know, I've, uh, that night got a little crazy in that. Uh, I, Come on, I, dude. I've gotten, oh, Who's it going to be? If you really want my opinion, man, and I think, well, one of them for sure knows it. I think the other two are clueless to it. I think Chris, you know, he, he tried to change the song and it was pretty gutsy of him, but I think he should have thought it out a little more and hopefully he has a chance to redeem himself. Uh, Dana, 
I personally don't think she could handle a party with Supernova, let alone a, a world tour, you know? Um, no, I, I, I'm serious. Like, she has to, like, she's an amazing singer. You guys all know that. But we're talking about these guys, who's right for this band, and per, that's just my opinion. One more, Jenny. Just thought her tone was a little tight and not right. That's just my opinion, though. I, and don't let it sway your opinions, guys, because... <laughs> I'm sure they won't, but dude, good for you, man. Yeah, you know, cool. bringing it honest style. Well, I, I just we want to be honest. We respect that. We respect that, dude. Cool. And uh, let me, uh, in light of all this information, let me pass it on to Jenny. Now, Jenny, coming from a fellow Canadian. Those Hello. are some pretty, those are fighting words. They are fighting words. Do you have any reactions to that? I just disagree. I think that uh, my performance was good, and we'll see. We'll see how the chips fall where they fall with Lucas. All right, Chris, the self-proclaimed one of the world's greatest singers, as we just saw. All of us are here for a reason. We all busted our butts and auditioned, and if we weren't the best, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. Right on. Hey, Dana, let me ask you, how did you feel when Lucas put you on the spot about who's in the bottom three? That is really, that's not only is it a loaded question, it's a really uncomfortable situation. Saying, who do you think's going home is like... Could you help me get the steak knife out of my heart now? Right on, Dana. Let's, uh, let's kick it over to Matt. What's up, Dave? Hey, buddy. You know, you were put on the spot, too, but you kind of turned it around. But you clearly had some strong feelings about what was going on. Well, I just don't like it when people ask you the question, we answer the question, and you won't answer. Your, you know, it, it just seems logical. And, and with him being in the spotlight, and he got so much praise... And, you know, he enjoyed the moment. He should be able to answer the question. Well, you know what? At least he answered the question finally, right? Yeah, he did. Right on. He did. And let's, let's uh, bear in mind here real quick. The reality is that this is a competition. Yeah. And there is a lot at stake here fronting this band. So stuff's going to happen. Things are going to go down. But let's not lose sight of the fact that last night kicked serious ass. Good job, you guys. Thanks a lot. Let's hear from T. Lee, my man. Last night was amazing. How many of you guys saw last night? Nice. Looks like just about all of you did. And uh, so we have we've decided we would like to see an encore performance. So we decided we want to hear Delana rip it. Buckle up. <laughs> Watch out, mama. Giving us the encore, it's Delana.
love, Delana. I'd like half of that energy. But remember, just because Supernova wanted to see you again doesn't mean that you're safe from the bottom three. But great job. Go join the others. So who is in the bottom three? Well, last night at the end of the show, I gave you an early look at who was trailing after the first few minutes of voting. Our rockers have no idea if they were on that list. But that's going to change right now. If I say your name, please stand up. These names are in no particular order. You guys ready? Magni. Phil. And Chris. You were the bottom three at the end of last night's show. The question is, are they still in the bottom three now that the voting has ended and all the votes have been counted? We'll find out when we come back. elimination show of rock star supernova we've got your results from the worldwide vote and tonight one of our 15 rockers is going home but first if you can't get enough rock star supernova check out what happened backstage just minutes ago on vcast on your verizon wireless phone and you'll also find exclusive interviews backstage footage and more before the break i asked magni phil and chris to stand you were the three rockers with the fewest votes after the first couple minutes of the worldwide voting. But as the votes poured in from the US, Canada, South America, Australia, and Asia, the names in the bottom three changed. So there were other rockers in the bottom three at some point last night. If I say your name now, please stand and join the others. Saida. Ryan. And Matt. You were also in the bottom three at some point last night. All right, six of you are now standing, which means the nine of you that are sitting are safe for another week. Congratulations. Now for you six that are standing, this is how it's gonna break down. If I say your name, it means you ended up in the bottom three at the close of voting. I want you to join me on stage where you will perform a song of your choice for Supernova. At the end of the show, Supernova will decide who stays and who goes. Okay, here we go. The first rocker in the bottom three is... Chris. All right, Chris, let's take a look at your performance last night and what Supernova had to say about it. I was not a huge fan of that. I felt that that song really showcased how limited your range is. There's not many male vocalists that can do Sting's range to begin with. You just have to be careful how you rearrange a, a classic. It's cool to take a tune and rock it up, but unfortunately that one sucked. All right, Gilby, you were probably the toughest on Chris, so let's start with you. Well, Chris, you know, you, you got a lot of criticism and uh, you got to make your point. You know, that was a bold statement you made. What are you going to do to change everybody's opinion about your performance for the next song? I'm going to do one of my favorite, favorite friggin' songs in the world, L.A. Woman by The Doors. Yeah. You guys like that? Are y'all cool with that? Chris, that, that's, that's a great choice, man. Doors are obviously one of the most classic rock bands of all time. But why, why did you choose this song? 
it's one of those rock songs that actually got me into rock and roll. It got me into, you know, exploring who I was and not, honestly, not giving a damn what anybody else says about you. Just be yourself and rock it out. Point taken, Chris. Let's do it, man. Bring it Let's on. Let's do this, baby. save Chris for another week and who else will be joining him in the bottom three and what song will they choose to sing for Supernova we'll find out after the break <laughs> welcome back everyone to Rockstar Supernova well, last night, 15 rockers helped launch the biggest rock and roll competition on the planet. The prize being named lead singer for the brand new mega group, Supernova. Tonight, the bottom three rockers from the worldwide vote must perform again for Supernova. And then, after a careful deliberation, Supernova will send one of them home. Well, we've already heard from Chris, which means that two more rockers are in danger of saying goodbye. All right, who is the second rocker in the bottom three? Let's find out right now. If I read your name, please join me on stage. Here we go. Phil, you are the second rocker. I just wanted to come up here. I'm glad you did. Not for this reason, though. <laughs> Phil, let's take one more look at your performance and Supernova's comments.
I just felt like your stage presence kind of lacked that strength and confidence that I'd like to see in front of these guys, personally. Sure. You're a little pitchy on that one, man. Oh, no. It's kind of a crazy song choice for you, and I just want everybody, all, all you guys, to realize how important the song choice is for you guys. Tommy, is it still all about the song that Phil chose? You know what it totally is, all about the song? Why did you choose that song? I chose it, though, because I wanted to come out with a heavy-hitting rock song. I thought, you know, I never sung it before, for one, so I was taking a risk, but it sounded like a song that I could handle. I don't think I sucked. No, you, no, you, def you definitely did not suck. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? It's crunch time, dude. Bring it on. What are you going to play for us? What, what do you got? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to play a song by Switchfoot called Stars. Oh, I uh, love that band. Uh, Did, love why, that band. Why? why? Why are you going to play Switchfoot? Switchfoot is one of my favorite bands. When I'm looking for inspiration, I look to them. And nice, uh, nice choice. Thanks. Bring it, baby. Two down and one to go. Who is our third and final rocker in the bottom three? And what song will they sing? Find out when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everyone. We're finding out which of our rockers landed in the bottom three following last night's worldwide vote. The first two, Chris and Phil, have sung songs they chose specifically for Supernova, hoping that it would save them for another week. One of these rockers standing is the final member of our bottom three. So let's end the suspense. Right. 
Ryan. You're safe, you can sit down. Saida, you're also safe, take a seat. So it's down to you two, Magni and Matt. Matt, you are the final member of our bottom three. Come on up here. So let's watch what you did last night and hear what Supernova had to say about it, Matt. I love that song, and you obviously can deliver it. There were like a few pitch problems at the end, but you know, who cares? It's rock and roll. But uh, next time, I'd like to see you play something a little bit uglier, a little bit heavier. Yeah, I can't you wait. Know, for these guys. It's good, Thanks, man. man. Thanks, man. Thanks so much, guys. Jason, what do you think? Matt Hoffer, my brother. How are you, my friend? Good. Um, I love that last performance, personally. That song fits you quite well, your voice and everything, and the way you construct songs. Um, and... Dave asked you to bring something heavier so we could see what you got and like that. So what is it you're going to play for us to redeem yourself today? Well, it doesn't sound good, but um, I'm playing Duran Duran, which is, not, which, is, which is not the first band you think of when you bring in the rock. But I decided I'm making it more guitar heavy, drop the guitars down to D, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But I, I think Duran Duran is one of those bands where you, where you listen, where you hear it on the radio and you... Uh, and you know it's them, and that's what you strive to be as an artist, as, uh, as an individual. You're probably not wrong about that, Duran Duran fans, loyalty. And I all love that thing. Duran that's, Duran. That's man. true, but that's not quite our speed. So I'm interested to see. I would. I want to hear it rock. So please bring the rock, por favor.
When we come back, who's going home and who will have survived the biggest scare of their lives? Don't go away. You at home made your decision, and the three rockers with the fewest number of worldwide votes have now performed. It's up to Supernova to decide who they're sending home. Guys? I want to address all y'all. Anyone could be in the bottom three tonight. Anybody. You just saw that happen. And we also learned this week, you really got to be serious about choosing your songs. All right, so next week, that's what we want to see. Everybody, go for the song you want to get the most and bring it to us, all right? Bring it to us. Even if, if it's a ballad, whatever the song it is, make it your own and bring it to us. All right, guys, one by one. Chris, good song choice tonight, okay? Thanks, man. It's exactly what you're supposed to do. We said you had a rough one last night. You thought it was okay. You chose the song that you wanted to sing to prove what you can do to us. Did a great job. Thank you. We still question your vocal ability, okay? Phil, we thought your vocals were really good. We really, really liked, you know, what you've been doing melodically. Thank you. We question your performance. Okay, we just question the way that, you know, you're moving around, the way you're leading the band. Matt, tonight, Duran Duran, we question your song choice tonight. All right? No, I understand. Okay. Hopefully you give me another chance so I can bring the rock. <laughs> right on, man. Anyway, Tommy. Well, there are three of you left, and unfortunately, somebody's got to go. Phil? You're safe, baby. Sit down. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hold on, brother. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Uh, Matt, we've said how important song choice is since the get-go here, and uh, the song choice for this didn't cut it. You're the first to go. I'm sorry. Yo, Matt. If there's anything you'd like to say to the guys, now's your time. I mean, you guys, I grew up, and you guys are my heroes, and you're still my heroes, man. I mean, I had all three of you guys on my wall growing up as a teenager. I mean, I just, just everywhere, smattered. And <laughs> that ain't making you feel bad, dude. <laughs> you know, and, and Tommy, you know, you've gotten a bad rap in the press. You're a beautiful guy, man. I really, from what I know. Thanks, mind losing to these guys because they're, everybody deserves to be here. They're, everybody is so uniquely talented and just amazing. I, Matt, by the way, you didn't lose. Mm -hmm. It's just another time. That's all, brother. That's all. Gotcha. Another time. Another time. There are no losers here. Can I go say goodbye to my friends now? Of course you can. Yeah, Let go ahead, guys, dude. Take care. Thanks, Matt. Well, Matt may be gone, but Phil and Chris had a close call. If you don't want to see them in the bottom three again, remember that you have the power to change it, but you've got to vote.
To catch all the Rockstar Supernova action happening off stage, be sure to check out rockstar.msn.com every Monday morning for a brand new reality episode. And then tune in next Tuesday at our regular time, 9, 8 central, for more great rock and roll. And again on Wednesday at 8, 7 central to see who's the next to go. Until then, I'm Brooke Burke. Good night, everyone. You know, I don't really necessarily know exactly what I did wrong that got me into the bottom three, but song selection is crucial this week. I'm going to take it extremely seriously. I'm going to look for that song that is perfect for me, and I'm going to fight for it. I'm, uh, I'm really bummed that, that Matt had to go. He's a good guy. He's an amazing artist. In the weeks to come, I'm going to have to just be smarter about the songs that I sing. What suits my voice and what plays well, um, you know, with my personality on stage. I'm not going home yet. I'm not giving up.